Hello, cellist. Here we go. How to bandage your finger like a pro. Tomorrow, Monday the 27th, is my birthday. And last night I cooked myself this wonderful, man, I made a mess, homemade meal, fresh from scratch pasta, and from scratch sauce. But to get the sauce, you have to use this torture device right here called a mandolin slicer. And these things, look at this, these things are like razor blades. And in my haste, I wasn't paying attention and sliced the finger right there. Okay, but they're very, very sharp. So it's a nice clean cut and yeah. So yeah, there it is. And obviously this big honking Band-Aid uh, will not do. I need to change it. This is actually the second one. I ran out of my other favorite, but I don't know. I was looking really fast because I was trying to cook. I was in the middle of cooking and things were on the stove and bread was in the oven. Um, and obviously I got to record some videos later. So yeah, let's go change this thing right now. Remember that I am not a medical professional. I'm just a professional cellist who has cut his fingers a lot. If it looks bad, if it's bleeding a lot, call 911 or do what I've done, go to the emergency room. Yes, I've been to the emergency room a few, few times. Few times. Muscles. Okay. Band-Aid box. Here we go. Um, obviously, you know, something for the camera or on stage, you're gonna want something that looks, you know, not noticeable, I guess, if you're worried about that. Bow hand, all right. Boy, I'm really low on band-aids. I just got the one kind here. Of course, most of these will do nicely. Butterfly strips. Oh, these are handy. Okay. In the car, gonna go get some band-aids, get some band-aids, cause I'm out of the tough, tough fingertip band-aids, out of band-aids. You know, actually I was just sitting here and thinking about why am I so um, experienced with this, and it's because I've cut my fingers so many times. I mean, I love to cook. <clears throat> I do love to cook. And uh, you get in a hurry or you're not paying attention and then whack. Actually, I have to show you here in a minute. I actually have three scars on this one finger over here on my left hand from uh, cutting it so many times. And uh, what I can say about that, what all the, you know, the cookbooks, uh, all the chef books, America's Test Kitchen, remember a dull knife is a dangerous knife uh, because uh, a dull knife slips off of the food, okay? You don't have as much control over it and it makes a nasty cut. So, you know, if you're gonna cut yourself, don't cut yourself, first of all. Don't cut yourself, just don't cut yourself. And second of all, if you do, you know, if it's a nice clean cut and it heals up nicely, um, that's always, you know, a little silver lining, I guess. Oh yeah, the finger. It's very faint, but you can see it there, the little line there, it's so old. I did that, gosh, I must have done that 20 something years ago, but it's still there because it was so big. Um, I sliced my hand, actually not with a knife, um, with the jagged 
a serrated edge of a plastic wrap, commercial plastic wrap box. You know, my parents are cake bakers. And uh, yeah, so that's the biggest scar. That's why we say jagged knives, dull knives really are the ones that leave the bad, bad scars. There's one that's kind of there. It's kind of faint. And then there was another time where I actually cut it on the fingertip. You probably can't see that one anymore. Um, that was a that was a knife. That one, I, I got an incomplete that semester um, when I cut the tip of this finger. Yeah, it's been through some abuse, unfortunately. All right, and here we go again. Let's get some Band-Aids. <laughs> Of course, there's like a million options here for band-aids. Actually, I don't even see the ones that I used the last of last night. Oh, that's too bad. They're like a, they're like this super strong sports strip. Of course, you know, fabric is, uh, you know, the flexible fabric or the tough strips, always the standby choice. Of course, they're always coming out with new stuff. Let's see, they got Smart Flex, okay. They got, uh, Waterproof strong strips. I'm gonna have to try those. What else we got here? Hmm. Man, I want those ones that I had. Super thick. Oh, flexible fabric, fingertip and knuckle. Definitely have to grab one of those here in a second. Where's the ones? See, there it is, over here in the same section. Aquaphor, Vaseline, petroleum jelly. All this stuff helps healing, remember. Couldn't find them there for a second, but looks like we're low on these, so we get some of these. Well, I've used these before too. These big long strips. That, it's not that big to have a cut. Ooh, what's this? Wound closure laceration. $29. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Butterfly strips. And I was about to forget my, well, where'd it go? Fingertip knuckle band aids. Oh, there we go. Don't forget those. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, before we take this off, let's see. We've got our assortment of band-aids here. All right, let me show you how all these work. Ooh, flexible fabric. We have to practice today, of course, and make some tutorials, and also need to finally make it to the gym to go exercise. So I want to make sure this thing is closed up and not going to come off. Okay, so um, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, Smart Flex. I just gotta try these out because they look like something I used to have, All right? But I am gonna use one of these, right, to close this thing up. I have my antibiotic ointment. All right, yes, I do use the antibiotic version, not just the aquifer or Vaseline, but I have heard that you can in an emergency there. All right, I can't believe they were out of these like super duper sports bandages. Oh, well, all right, they did have some other sporty looking things. All right, so let's take this thing off here and see what we have away first. your hands are clean, which mine are. See this butterfly strip, what it does, it pulls it tight, all right, so you can really close it up if it's a nice clean cut to begin with. Okay, let's see what we got here. It was a pretty clean cut, so. 
Oh yeah. There it is. Not too bad. All right. Definitely not uh, stitch worthy there. Okay, but definitely band-aid closure worthy. Okay, all right. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm always famously putting too much of this stuff right here. Okay, so just enough there. Um, I really like these butterfly strips because you can really close it up there. Boy, even that was way too much. Okay, okay. And then what the butterfly strip does is it pulls it. here about this. I really want it to go on there. I really want it to pull onto that there. I really want the tiny little part across the strip there. Yeah. It's gonna really keep it nice and closed there. And then since I did put probably way too much neosporin, I put a second one. Gotta take care of our cello fingers, man. Fingers are super duper important. Okay. So it's just for sake, so. Slap another one on there. Okay. All right. Now, yeah, it's already kind of coming off because of the Neosporin. So, before it gets too slippery there, Sometimes I've seen people put just these, all right? But I don't know, I feel like they don't really hold all that well. Okay, let's check these out. I just gotta know what these are, these are all about. Actually, these look almost too small. Let's get one of the ones. Let's see if these are what I remember for the things already coming off. It's not gonna be much of a tight hold there, is it? You know what, since we have extras, let's just start that over. It would be nice, you know, for it to like actually like stick and do what it's supposed to. There, let's try this again. See, that's why I bought more. I knew we were low. There we go. It's better. Ooh, a new box of butterfly strips. Slightly different style there. And you want to pull it closed, you know, you can see when the sore is like one direction or the other. Pull it closed there. Okay. That's better, I think. Okay, now for this guy. Let's see what this is all about. It is like paper thin there. Okay, all right. Hmm. So, yeah. I do like that it's thin, but it really, this cut really is on the tip. All right. So here we're gonna do this, we're gonna save that. We're not gonna waste that Band-Aid there. What we're gonna do is, because I do like the shit, I think it's still coming off. This is where I would get the fingertip and knuckle Band-Aids. Okay. So that, This thing comes down 
here. Such a beautiful thing. Now, last night, because this thing really is on the very tip tip of my finger, my super duper heavy duty band-aid actually came off. Yeah. I don't know, I guess because I'm moving it or getting it wet and washing it. All right. So I could do one of two things. I said I was gonna not waste this band-aid. I could, okay, put this around here, right? To secure it, okay. That's gonna help with all my playing and bowing and whatever else, and I gotta go to the gym and work out. Or the other option is, now these knuckle band-aids to help secure it here. I'm not gonna waste the heavy-duty knuckle band-aid, but where's this one? Oh, where did it go? There it is, okay. Use one of these. What you can do is, these are great because because of that break in there you can what you can do is you can line this up so that whoops sorry what you can do is take this and line it up so that the break see the space in there is where your finger will bend all right so it's for your you know they say it's called a knuckle bending so you can do something with your knuckles right it's supposed to go like that that's why it's called a knuckle band-aid but okay all right it's also for this, whoops, there we go. It's also for this, you know, part of your knuckle, so that this can bend a little better. All right, I wanna make sure that this other band-aid stays on, so I'm just gonna use one of these just to help secure everything so I don't have to keep messing with this thing all day here while I'm trying to get stuff done. Because, yeah, you know, practicing, exercising, everything that cellists have to do here over the course of the day. It's like, and plus, as I mentioned earlier, oily skin, oh, I messed that up. Start over. Terrible. Maybe I just like using Band-Aids. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. All right. Groovy. Yeah, fingertip knuckle band-aids. In the end, they really are the thing that get the job done. Could have done without the other box. Oh, well. Here we go. And we have a bandaged finger. And actually, I'll probably leave that on for the recording stuff later. All right, so that's how to bandage your finger like a pro. Happy birthday to me. Uh, now you'll know what to do uh, so you can get your finger all taped up and get your cello stuff done at the same time. I'm actually starting a new series here on the channel where I'm answering lots of cello questions. Every single video is under a minute long and you can check out that playlist right over here.